Okay, everybody, today we're going to be unboxing the Zero Tech Dobby Pocket Drone. I picked this up used, but like new condition off of eBay. Here's the little I don't know, pamphlet booklet, you know, the manual, let's put it that way. Here's the quadcopter. It folds out. It's one of those foldable phone controller deals. But I'm working on the fix for you can uh, use the uh, joypad with it. One of those Bluetooth gaming pads. There's a bunch of videos out there. But Ken told me, you know, it's more complicated than they make it look. But that, But it's doable. You know, it's doable. Man, look at the clearance on there. Wow. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more work than, than it looks, than those guys make it look like on YouTube. Okay. That's what he's basically saying. It's harder than it looks, but it's doable. So we're going to do it. Now, real quick before I go through the rest of this, if you want to see... A comparison on the size of this we've got the Wingsland S6 okay so that's uh, the Wingsland's a little bit bigger a little bit bigger and then the Sim 2 Ferry which I think has the identical motors I think they are exactly the same. As a matter of fact, let me see these props. Yep. These props look like the new style props. These are the old original Dobby props right here. With the flat end on them. And the new ones are curved like these. I bet you these would fit on here. They look identical, to be honest with you. These look, the motor stem here actually looks higher than this, but I think this is sunk down inside there a little bit more. So, yeah. So there's your comparison on the size of it. So it's pretty small. Then on the bottom of it is a optical flow sensor. And then there's one of those uh, sonars. It's in really good condition. The guy, I guess he must have never wrecked it you know it looks like there's not a mark on it okay so then all the good stuff's in there you've got a charging cable a little uh, micro usb to usb c adapter i'm not even sure what that's for unless it's for your phone somehow or to charge it I'm not sure let's get it out of here and we'll see okay here's the charge thing here I think this is USB-C yeah it is okay so that's what that's for and then you got your uh, power brick right here has their label on it there, Zero Tech. Has a USB pass through there. I don't need that though, because I always use the one from the Spark. To me, that's the best one. Now, I'm going to show you about how to, on charging this battery. Now, Ken, you can leave a comment on if this is the way this worked for you. I could not get this battery to charge. I've got a charge now. Of course, you see the lights on there. But the way I was doing it was I was plugging it in, putting the USB plug in here, and then plugging it into the wall, and then putting the battery on it. And then the red light will come on here. And it would never charge. So I just, you know, I kept farting around with it and farting around with it, and then completely by accident, I put the this was disconnected from the cable 
and I just happened to stick the battery in there like that. Plugged the plug in, plugged it into the thing on there, and it started charging. So that's what you have to do. You have to put the battery on here, put the cable on, have the power brick in the wall, then plug it into the power brick, and then it'll charge. But if you do it the other way, if you plug... Now this is just for me. I don't know if this is the way it's supposed to be, but this is the only way I could get it to work. If you just if you plug the charger in to the wall with this and put it in the power brick and the, uh, and then plug the battery on it, it just doesn't do anything. Nothing happens. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just this one. Who knows? Let's uh, turn it on. Hold the button in for like three seconds. That'll get you turned on. And then we'll fire up the app. And the app is called Dobby O, or not, that's not what the app's called. That's the Wi-Fi um, signal's name. It's Dobby with a code after that. And you can find that underneath here um, we were right here. Right there it is. There's a little QR code and all that right there. And that'll tell you what the Wi-Fi signal's name is going to be. And the uh, password, the default password is Zero Tech. Uh, all small, small case. Then you go to the app, which I did this part already. And let me tell you, th this was a real pain because it was an update and I had to update it. Okay, so you have to have a phone with cellular service to do the update. I tried to use my other phone, my little burner phones that I use for my recording of the audio and stuff like that. But it didn't, the Wi-Fi signal has to stay on the quadcopter. So you have to have uh, data to be able to download the update while the Wi-Fi is still connected to the to the copier it doesn't let you do it while it's while it's off so and then of course you have to register you know so that's the name of the app it's called do fun okay here you go you see the video signal that's putting out And now it says all this can't take off and all this other stuff. We're going to put this down here and take off. Because I'm not flying it far. But uh, well, I'm not flying it at all. I'm going to take off and land it. Okay. I don't, you know these phone controls. I'm going to, not going to take this out and fly it until I can get this joystick thing figured out. Let's go up to these settings. I did the compass calibration already. Um, okay, it tells you the control mode. You have motion sense, and you know that motion sense is you tilt the phone, and if I'm outside, I'll do that, but I'm just going to take it up and bring it back down. Um, we're going to do the selfie. We're going to do the selfie mode. Now, I have not been able to figure out if there's any camera settings on here as far as screen resolutions and all that I don't know does it record just in 1080p or does it record in 4k I'm just not sure you know because I don't see anything on here that tells you uh, what the what that is so let's just start some video and I'll put the video in here okay so the timer goes right there and then we'll just take off and crash. Okay, let's just do that and get it over with. Well, Ken was right, it is noisy. 
That's for sure. Okay, there was the palm landing. Stop the video, so at least we'll have some video to put in there. But yeah, maybe I'll take it out and fly it with the phone. Who knows? If I can't get the hack. I have three Bluetooth joysticks, plus I have seven or eight PlayStation 2, 4, and 3 joysticks, so one of these suckers I should be able to get working. But if I can't, I'll just take it out and fly it with the phone. So that'll be that. All right, guys, there you go. The Zero Tech Dobby. It's another classic. Oh, and I have an extra battery, too. I forgot to tell you about that. There's an extra battery with it. So, all right, guys, have a nice day. I'll talk to you later.